Why? There's mold all over the fridge. Why is there mold all over the fridge? In a recent video, I talked about the cylinder head number five temperature issue we had on takeoff when departing from Marquette, Michigan. So if you haven't watched that one, go back and check it out. You can click the link right here in the video to find it. That flight turned out fine and we made it to our destination. As I noted in the video, I didn't feel like the indication we were seeing was real. There would be other things showing up as problems. The measurement just seemed flaky, and at the time, the temperature spike was very concerning and got my attention, but once we leveled off, the measurement was fine for the remainder of the trip. A few days later, we had to fly again, and this time to our home base. Sure enough, on takeoff, the measurement was flaky again. It didn't spike high like it had on the previous trip. It was jumpy, 20 degrees or so up and down. Once we leveled off, it was normal, and this made me think maybe we just had a bad connection or thermocouple going bad, like I did on the previous flight. So when we got home, I analyzed the data from a flight before and found the exact same problem again. The same pattern of data was there and just something we hadn't noticed at the time. Though it seemed like a flaky thermocouple, but we still needed to dive into the issue. Indicative. I don't see any, any issues with the cylinder per se. Well, after removing the cowling, started looking for signs of anything obvious. The CHT thermocouple looked fine and there were no obvious signs of any issues. I disconnected it and used a cold water bath to ensure it was reading properly and everything was fine there. But that's when I noticed something else. Okay. Look at all the spark plugs. See the spark plug? Uh -huh. See that spark plug? What do you notice about that spark plug? It's a different color. Come down here and look at the bottom spark plugs. See that spark plug? That spark plug? And that spark plug? Looks like it's leaking something. So we probably need to look inside the inside there and see what we can see on the inside. The spark plugs on cylinder number five were discolored, while none of the other ones were. This made me a little more concerned that maybe something did happen here. I felt the best thing to do was to take out a spark plug and use our boroscope to look inside the cylinder, and so that's what we did next. Took a little bit of doing. The USB camera didn't work very well with the newer Macs. We had to grab an old one find it in storage, but we found one and it worked. And so we were able to get some video and some stills. Nothing was apparently bad. We looked at the exhaust and intake valves for any signs of abnormal wear and nothing looked out of the ordinary. Now, I'm not an engine wear expert, so just to be sure, I took off the spark plug of an adjacent cylinder and I also took some pictures and videos to have something to compare it to. Everything seemed fine. We also rotated the engine through a few strokes to watch the valves open and close and seat. Everything looked fine there as well. So with the cylinder looking fine, that was a relief. Some more research found that this discoloration of the spark plugs is actually a normal phenomenon known as corona stain. And it's actually caused by static electricity and is of no concern. In fact, NGK has a short YouTube video explaining it, posting a link here for you. So with that, we replaced the spark plugs and kept investigating. 
I started removing the zip ties and the insulation on the thermocouple and started stripping everything back. And sure enough, the problem was found. So this one doesn't move. Mm -hmm. but this one. Oh yeah. That's loose. Yeah. That screw is loose. So I assume. Just as we thought, it was a loose connection. And fortunately, that's all that was wrong. But let me tell you, when you're low to the ground and you're full of fuel, you're loaded up with your family, you're hundreds of miles from home, thunderstorms around the airport, and you get a CHT over temperature alert, it is not a blue sky moment, that's for sure. Easy peasy, huh? And in case you're wondering, we got the mold cleaned up out of the fridge too. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe.